the United Kingdom visas and immigration. This is a rare insight into Britain's overwhelmed immigration system. Eva is on the phone to the Home Office's free phone hotline to claim asylum. To make an appointment to claim asylum, please hold for an agent. She arrived five days ago in the back of a lorry. It seems to be very busy at the moment. Eva and her friend Dennis are both from Albania, a country which has seen a surge in people trying to reach the UK. Dennis came a few months ago by small boat. They both say they want to speak to break what they call the stigma of criticism facing Albanians. Why you want to focus that migrants are a problem, problem, problem? Start to see migrants as a solution. Start to see us as worthy people. The British government has said too many Albanians are abusing the system. Dennis and Eva say they can't face the future in Albania and their lives there are intolerable. You're a stockbroker who found yourself in the back of a lorry. That's quite an extraordinary situation, isn't it? Yes. Because, I mean, it doesn't make sense, but when you look at Albania and, like, the opportunities it gives to youth, to young people, it will make sense. If we have a proper salary that will cover all our expenses and we everything... We wouldn't live from there. We wouldn't live from there. Some people would say you're an economic migrant, not an asylum seeker, that the asylum system is for people who are fleeing things like war and persecution. I just want to live in a happy environment, you know. I just want to live in a safe environment. I want to live in a society that is well-structured, you know, and well-organised. I don't want to live in chaos anymore. These pictures were filmed in the summer, within a few weeks of Dennis crossing the channel. The details he shared of his journey reveal what smugglers tell passengers to persuade them to join criminal gangs in the UK. They know that the system is broken, and they use this as a strong point to convince people to do this. You'll never get asylum of the paper. They tell to the Albanians, you'll never be integrated in the society. They've been like cases three years or more. They haven't even had the work permit here yet. Like, they tell you this. They convince you that you come here and you cannot do nothing else. Has been speaking to some Albanian we asked the government to comment on what we've been told. For many of the people who come to these shores, they're smuggled here by organised criminal uh, groups and it's vitally important that we break those organised criminal groups and their means of operating. Dennis and Eva say they had no choice but to pay smugglers to change their lives. They now enter an asylum system that some wait in for years to have their claims processed. Lisa Holland, Sky News.